If you want to create some space in your Microsoft Word document so that you can add images or shapes next to your text, create a letterhead for business letters, or condense your resume down from three pages to two, then you're going to have to change the default one inch margins around the top, bottom, and sides of your document. There's three different ways that you can change your page margins in Word. I'm going to show you all three ways in this video. Welcome Office Professionals. My name is Mike and today I'm going to help you improve your skill set and workflow within Microsoft Word by showing you three different ways that you can adjust your page margin for different effects. So you see in this first example, I've zoomed out quite a bit just to show you that the default when you're working in Microsoft Word is to have a one inch page margin around the top, bottom, left and right of your document. But sometimes we want to alter that and uh, change that so we can add some things in that are closer to the edge of the page. Like in this first example, I want to either make some notes on the left side of my page when I print it out, or maybe I want to insert some graphic elements, maybe some further information on the left, maybe this is a newsletter, and right now it looks a little boring. So let's zoom in and I'll show you the first way to adjust your page margin. Now this first part can be a little bit challenging. We're going to move the left margin over to the right so that this text down here moves over to the right. And you might notice there is a section break here. So when I put my cursor here, that means anything that we do to the left margin will only affect this section of the document, which is a great feature. Um, it's not gonna move the top part, the hockey news title uh, over to the right, just the section that I've got here highlighted. So that's a great feature if you wanna just keep the heading the same, but then maybe move something over in the document. Maybe this is a newsletter, you wanna add some more information on the left side of your document. So you would, all you'd have to do there is just, it's, it's kind of hard to get to because there's a hanging indent option, which I can explain in a different video and a first line indent, but you have to, to change this left margin. It's a little bit finicky. Um, you have to put your cursor so that it makes kind of like a double-sided arrow. If I can do it there. Okay. So we got it. It's a little bit tricky. So this is why it's not my favorite way to adjust the margin, but it's might be the quickest if you're used to this or, or you're good at, um, manipulating the, the left page margin like this. So I'm gonna pull this to the right and you'll notice the text below moves to the right. Again, it's only in this section. That's why section breaks are great. Right now, I'm just gonna pull this to the right so that maybe you wanna print this document off, make some notes, or maybe you wanna stick some graphic elements in the side uh, of this document to make it look like a real newsletter. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the, the latter option there. We're gonna put some more information on the left side and save some space on our document um, just by pulling this left margin over. And I'm gonna drop it about here. And then I can add my graphic elements so that our document now looks like this. And you see that I've put a little sidebar and you can put in shapes, pictures along the left side just by pushing your text over from the left margin. And you can move the right margin as well. It's a lot easier than the left margin. The left margin is the hardest if you're doing it this way on the, the ruler within Microsoft Word. So if you want the right margin, you would just go up here and it says right margin, make sure you got the double, double arrow first, and then you can pull maybe to the left. Maybe you want some more space on that right margin, so more text. The more you move the space closer to the page outline, the more room you're gonna have. So if you want more space on that right side, you could just pull it over there. You can also adjust the top margin. Maybe we want less space at the top because we've already got a nice header. We don't need to put um, another one on top of it. So we're gonna close the gap just by pulling this top margin. Again, make sure that you see that double arrow before you move this and then just pull it up a little bit because we don't need that much space at the top of our document and then just release it. And then you can also do that for the bottom. So I'll show you how to do that here. Just go here, double-sided arrow again. Make sure that's popping up and it says bottom margin first and then we can just pull the, the one inch margin down, maybe make it a half an inch or something close to that instead. So you can just kind of allow for more text on your page if you wanna save some space. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in a different way in the next example. Now we'll work on our second document. So this is my actual resume and it's got a lot of information on there because I've got a lot of work experience. The problem is if you look down at the bottom, it tells us that there's a big mistake going on here. It's nothing in the resume itself. This resume is one page too long. So there's a really quick way to fix this problem just by using some of the predefined or most commonly used uh, margin settings in Microsoft Word. And you'll find that in the Layout tab or the Page Layout tab if you're using an older version of Microsoft Word. So just click on the Layout tab or Page Layout if you're using an older version, and then click the uh, drop arrow under the Margins icon here. Right now you can see this as under the Normal or the Default. So it says 2.54 centimeters, which is one inch all the way around your top, left, bottom, and right margins. The Narrow is 
half an inch, so or 1.27, so half of what uh, the normal is. Moderate is the same at the top and bottom as the default, but a little bit more space on the left and right sides. And wide is the opposite of narrow, where it actually kind of pushes your text into the middle and has a lot of space on both the left and the right side. That's really great if you're doing something like our last example, where you want your text in one position and then have some graphic elements around it. And then there's this last one, which you're not gonna use a lot in business documents, but if you were creating a textbook or a novel, uh, you would use something like a mirrored margin setting, and that'll allow for a lot of room on the inside. If you look at the graphic, it looks like a book. So if you're creating any kind of book, mirror would be an option you could do um, if you're creating that, but that's getting a little bit too complicated and you're not likely to use that in a, you know, when you're creating business documents. So a really quick way to turn this resume from three pages to two pages is just to click narrow. You don't have to do much more than that, just click narrow. And now you'll notice that at the bottom of the page, it tells us that this document went from three pages to two. There's less room around the top, bottom, left and right margins. But now at least we've got all of our information on two pages and our resume is acceptable to print out and head out to people. But I like my job, so I'm not gonna be doing that. <laughs> In this third example, we're going to create a letterhead at the top of this document. Maybe you've got a company logo that you wanna put at the top of this letter. So we need to create some space in the top margin. We're not gonna change or adjust the left, right, and bottom margins, but that top one, the one inch default is just not enough room for us. So you can actually make a custom margin if the predefined ones uh, don't suit your needs. So let's say we want to stick in a nice visually appealing uh, letterhead in this document and one inch just isn't gonna do it for us. So let's say we wanna change it to two and a half inches at the top of the document. The way you would do that is click the layout tab, or again, page layout tab if you're using an older version of Microsoft Word, and click the margins drop arrow again, and just go all the way to the bottom. There's the custom margins option. We're gonna click that. And from here, you can add custom margins to the top, left, bottom, or right margins of your document. And I'm going to add in uh, two and a half inches, or maybe two, in two inches is good for us. So maybe two inches, we'll try it out. Um, even though this is in centimeters for me, I can put in the inches sign, so two, and then quotation mark on your keyboard, and then press enter, and just or just leave it like that. And then if I'm happy with two inches at the top, I think that's a good that's a good uh, measurement or enough space to create a letterhead. And I'm creating a lot of letterheads in the same way. I can actually uh, click set as default, and that will allow me to have the same dimensions on the top margin for every new Word document. So I would just, if I wanted to do that, I would just click that, set as default, and then every time I start a new Microsoft Word document, it'll come up like that. But if you don't intend to create a lot of documents that are like this, that probably wouldn't be a good option for you. And then you've got tons of other options here. You can also add a, apply this to the whole document, or like in a, if you create a section, you could apply it to just the section, but we'll apply this to the whole document and then we'll press okay. And now you see that we've got some space to create our letterhead. So you could create a document that looks like this instead. And now look at this nice letterhead we've got at the top of our page. It's very eye-catching. And if you wanna learn how to create headers and footers just like this one, check out the video on your screen right now. I'm gonna go over all the different ways that you can create some of these visually appealing headers and footers that it can enhance the look of your document. So click on that video and I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching, bye.